Barack Obama said, we will respond to the threat of climate change, knowing that the failure to do so would betray our children and future generations. Obama, 2013. Climate change is a serious problem for the world, and there needs to be immediate action taken against it. Not only does climate change wreak havoc on life on Earth, it is also a threat to the global economy. Luckily, there are many solutions that could solve this daunting problem. Although it's argued that climate change is natural, there are a multitude of facts that prove that climate change is a man-made issue. As mentioned previously, both non-human animals and humans will be harmed by climate change. Animals will experience a loss of habitat because of climate change. For example, the melting of the Arctic ice has harmful effects on animals like walrus and polar bears. As Barbara Reverend summarizes, as the ocean's temperature shifts, the food chains also must shift, or the animals will need to move to new food sources. Revart, 2017. Walruses, including females and calves, are amassing in dangerous congregations known as haulouts in search of food, since their normal food sources are becoming harder to find due to habitat loss. The polar bear is also facing the full effects of the ice melting because of the now shorter hunting season. This causes large amounts of cannibalism and population decline. Unfortunately, animals will also lose their habitats due to ocean acidification. The world's oceans absorb some of our carbon dioxide, which turns into carbonic acid. This carbonic acid has made the ocean 25% more acidic. In this acidic environment, marine life has a much harder time growing their shells. Additionally, animals will lose their habitats because of ocean dead zones. An ocean dead zone is an area of low oxygen that causes death in marine life. Climate change causes warmer waters, which cannot contain as much oxygen. These warmer waters mix less with colder waters, furthering the effects of the dead zones. But it's not just non-human animals that this will hurt. Humans will be harmed by the increasing amount of severe weather, such as floods, heat waves, hurricanes, extreme rain, and droughts, which can be devastating to the human population. The global economy will also be damaged by climate change due to factors such as water shortages and pressing agricultural damages, which will produce a negative overall effect. Drinkable fresh water will become scarcer as polar ice melts into the sea, causing irregular water cycles across the globe. Eventually, water shortages will cause economic crisis when the lack of available water combines with the increased demand for a dwindling resource. The demand for water will be 40% more than what can be sustained in 2030, says the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, 2016. Along with water shortages, the global economy will sustain many agricultural damages due to climate change. According to data from the NOAA, the average global temperature has increased by 0.88 degrees Celsius, 1.58 degrees Fahrenheit, since the 1900s. The increasing global temperatures will stay further away from the ideal temperature for agriculture, which will affect the agriculture of both rich and poor countries. In general, climate change is going to have a negative effect on the global economy, according to Professor Louisa Bradmiller. As places like China and the United States and the European Union start to see more negative impacts, um, the effects are potentially enormous. Bradmiller, 2017. If we don't change our behavior soon, Climate change could result in a loss of up to 20% of the gross domestic product from the world economy. There are many ways to solve the looming problem of climate change, including, but not limited to, a carbon tax, the national use of renewable energy, and global collaboration with scientists. A tax on carbon would reduce carbon pollution, which would help lessen greenhouse effect and slow climate change. There would have to be a tax on it to provide people with the motivation to do less of that and to find cheaper ways to produce electricity or other kinds of fuel. Brad Miller, 2017. Apart from that, 
the use of renewable energy like biomass, hydropower, geothermal, wind, and solar will make the burden of fossil fuels to the atmosphere lighter. Finally, the U.S. government should collaborate with scientists to inform the public and find solutions to the challenge of climate change. As Barbara Reverick puts it, the government should be working together with scientists and leaders around the world to build a consensus and adoption of an action plan to address the issue. Rever, 2006-17. Skeptics of climate change argue that climate change is not man-made. However, this is simply not true, as scientists can tell humans are a main contributor due to human traces on carbon dioxide and the higher travel cause. Human traces on carbon dioxide make it clear that humans are causing this dramatic increase in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide produced by humans is lighter. Over time, scientists can clearly see an increase in these lighter molecules. Furthermore, the Earth's tropopause is higher than it used to be, which shows that climate change is man-made. The tropopause warmed due to greenhouse gases and has expanded to new heights. This shows that the warming is not caused solely by the sun, since the climate change caused mainly by the even heating of the sun would also cause the expansion of the stratosphere, not just the troposphere. The threat climate change poses to the world is a large one. As a society, we need to take serious steps to prevent its effects from becoming catastrophic. Climate change hurts living creatures and damages the global economy. We need to utilize the many solutions to this threat immediately. While climate skeptics argue that climate change is natural, that can be scientifically refuted. Climate change is an immediate danger to life on Earth, and we need to take steps to stop it before it becomes too late.